Alrighty, welcome back to Duel Links. It's time for a new day. So I think this actually um, resets every 12 p.m. my time, 12 a.m. my time. So it's good that I'm doing it every single morning. So three orbs. I think if you use ten of them, it can reset the duelists. Uh, World Championship 2018 Sport Campaign Celebration of the WCS. Ten alternate art version of Dark, Ver Dark Edition Girl. Ten additional thousand gems in celebration of the WCS. Please share the notification page for detailed notifications. Really? I get another one of these. I've already got that one. What the hell? Oh yeah, I did. Here we go. Cool. 300. Let's see what's up here. Yeah, there's the Dark Magician Girl. Nice. Very nice. And 1,000 gems, meaning we're only 115 away from being able to buy a lot of decks. So, we might be able to do that this episode. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, shit. That was my fault. <laughs> I thought it was just another random mission. Yeah, shut up. You should try Duel School, learn the rules more about cards through a variety of theme-based duels. You can also earn rewards by passing the duel quizzes. Yeah, that's also another great way of getting gems. Um, you will have, you would have noticed this thing here. When you click on it, it's like a tutorial thing. But it's also very fun. It teaches you mechanics you might not actually know. Um, sometimes. Um, and they also give you gems as rewards. So, that's always nice. Alright. Let's do some duels. Get the lead out so we can keep dueling. Maybe. Can't wait until I get auto duel. God damn. I'm going first. See if you have the cards to challenge me. Come on, let's have ourselves a duel. Duel, my turn. All right, no will summon. Here I come. I summon a monster in attack position. Um, I'll set this down. I set a card. I end my turn. My turn. I draw. Show him who is boss. I end my turn. Here I go. Another reaction. I summon a monster in attack position. Will now watch and learn. I attack with a monster. Watch and learn. My monster attacks your life points directly. I end my turn. I'm coming at you. I draw. Don't let me down. Get ready. My turn. Might draw. Actually, no. I'll play this. I tribute battle now. I attack with a monster. Watch and learn. My monster is. I've completed another flawless turn. Good. Like draw. Show him who's boss. It's the end of my turn. And here we go. Up to this. And goodbye. But yeah, while I'm doing this, I may as well talk about something. Um, so the cards you can buy with the gems, there are different packs, as you may have noticed. On the mobile version, I just chose ones that looked cool, and I spent about ooh, two thousand on them. This one, I think I'm just gonna focus on the black eye, um, the blue eyes white dragon deck um, pack because since we have Kaiba, I may as well want to improve the blue eyes white dragon deck, which is pretty good because it'll allow me to be able to use that card more, and it's pretty powerful, and it's better than just doing random packs because I think each pack have different monsters that contribute to each other more. So if I focus on one pack. Then I will have a better chance of getting a deck that um, contribute to each other, if that makes sense. 
I'm not sure if that's how it works in this game. I do know it works in real life because each booster pack has to do with each, like has to has cards that relate to each other. Usually, usually. Um, if it's not like that in this game, then I call shenanigans because how else are you meant to decide what pack you want? But I'm gonna focus on the blue eyes white dragon pack from now on. Well, from the start, because I haven't actually got one yet, technically. Um, blue eyed silver zombie. Stop defense, I don't need it. Nice. Just three more to go. Well, you beat me fair and square. You got some awesome cards. Thank you. Also, once I get a bad attack, we can do some rank duels. And that'll be pretty nice, because that's actually real people fighting. Though sometimes they can take forever to do moves, and sometimes they might quit, so it'll be very annoying. I'll probably only show duels that are actually interesting. Except for the first couple of duels. Because that'll be me getting used to it. And draw. I'll play this. I summon a monster in attack position. Who well, now? Now. Who well, now? Now. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I end my turn. I believe in my card. I draw. Let's go. I end my turn. Here I go. It's my draw. Crawling dragon. Totes me giant. He uses this card uh, like a, a lot in season one of Yu-Gi-Oh. It's also like in one of the early episodes. This is fake Kaiba, or at least a uh, sort of fake Kaiba. And they recognize Kaiba's deck because of a Totsu Me Giant. Totsu Me Giant. Beautiful. All right, what's this explanation mark? Keys. Yeah, keys. Nice. I don't know why, but I like storing up on keys. I don't really use the gate world much. I only use the gate if um it's a stage mission or something, or if I learn that level. 20s and 30s give you good uh, rewards, then I'll just spam it. But I haven't actually gotten that far yet. There can only I study dueling every day, even weekends. Ooh, very nice. Duel. My turn. Here I go. My turn. My turn. What's that? A uh, Goblin Calligrapher. Goblin who devotes himself to mastering perfect calligraphy of the word false. He gives you. He gives his old every each stroke. What? Who now don't blink? We're not gonna blink ever. I end my turn. All right, draw. I'm counting on you. Here it's I my go. turn. It's my draw. Watch closely. I summon a monster in attack battle. Don't blink. Oh. I attack with a no. My monster ah. attacks your life force. I completed another flawless turn. I draw! I'm using this! I summon a monster in attack position! I end my turn! <laughs> <laughs> Kaiba's laugh. I draw. Here I come. Oh, Moki Moki! No, yeah, Moki Moki. That's a GX card. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> and there's 25. Exactly 3,000 now. Thumbs up if you want to do me that badly. <laughs> I remember that line. Want to do? Let's go. Watch closely. I summon up when I end my turn. It's my turn. I draw. I need you. I summon a monster in attack position. I end my turn. Here I go. La la liu. An electric cloud creature. Its acid rain makes it very dangerous. Draw. Watch closely. I summon a monster. Will now do. My monster don't blink. If my monster attacks your life point, I end my turn. Get ready! I draw! Alright! I summon a monster guide to battle! No retreat! That's nice job, you actually damaged me. Get ready! My turn, draw! I'll play this! I will now watch and learn. My, now. My monster attacks your life. I've completed another flawless turn. Oh no, oh no, oh no! If I draw. Alright. I summon a monster. My turn's over already. <laughs> I draw. And now it's time to finish this little girl off. No, I was talking in the middle of that. You're a third. Ah! Shut up, little girl. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's lots of. Oh, Joey. Hello. By the way, um, before we buy the decks, the first, the way I usually build decks is I'm not really as strategic with them. I'm not really the kind of person that just look at a card and go, yes, this will work with this. The way I usually do it is I usually go by uh, power, which is a little cheap way to do it and usually the basic way. Basically, until I know that I've got cards that work well together, I will go for like high level fours in my deck, along with a few spells that can be used as a defensive thing, and also ones that can be used to bring out monsters and strategically do things. I'll have a few level 5s above as well, but the main thing that I try to do is I try to get a monster on the field with a high attack as soon as possible. So just keep in mind that's what I'll be working towards early on until I actually have monsters that can work together. Okay, so where is... there it is, Ultimate Rising. Let's start getting decks. Okay, 10 packs. Yeah, Creeper. Spell Absorbing Life. Flip all face down defense position monsters on the field face up. Flip effects not activated at, the at this time. Increase your life points by 400 points for each effect monster card on the field. Uh, inflict 200 points of damage to your opponent's life points for each card in your opponent's hand. The monster equipped with this card cannot attack the control of the equipped monster takes 500 points of damage during each of your standby phases. Wow. That's cool. Raging Aria. Once per turn, you contribute one water monster. Monster, accept this card. The special summon one water monster from your hand. The monster is special summoned by this effect is destroyed if Raging Aria is removed from your side of the field. Cannot be summoned unless you control a face up twin swords of flashing light trice. When this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, special summon this monster from the graveyard that was used for its tribute summon. 
A special summon the monster. Okay. And Judgeman. This club wielding warrior battles to an end with and will never surrender. Never surrender! Pleasing Heater. Once per turn, you contribute one fire monster, except this card to special summon one fire monster from your hand. The monster special summoned by this effect is destroyed with Pleasing Heater. He's removed from your side of the field. <sighs> King of Yami Makai. Wields the power of darkness, destroys its enemies. In the original attack of your opponent's monster that, that battles with this card during his or her turn, becomes 200 points during the damage step. Holy crap. Just give that guy a boost in attack and therapy. Raging Arrow again. Faith Bird. This long-tailed bird blinds its enemies with mystical light. And Trap Jammer. When your opponent activates a trap card during the battle phase and they get the activation, if you do, just destroy it. Avalanching Oza. Once per turn, you contribute one Earth Monster, except this card is special summon one Earth Monster from your hand. The monster special summoned by this effect is destroyed if Avalanching Oza is removed from your set field. So it's basically the same thing as Flaming Heater. Uh, Fortress Whale's Oath. This is used to summon Fortress Whale. Divine Dragon. When this card is normal summon, it gets one of the following effects. Shit. I was trying to click on it so I could have it over here. Griffin's Feather Duster. Destroy all spell and trap cards on your side of the field. Increase your life points by the number of destroyed cards times 500 points. Can okay, we get Makai? Sword of Dark Destruction. Dark Monster equipped with this card increases its attack by 400 points and decreases its defense by 200. Because it's the Thin Blade, so it can't really protect you, I'm guessing. Storming Wind. Okay, this is the same thing. It's like the Flaming Heater and stuff. Fortress Whale's Oath and Air Area, the Water Charmer. Flip, target one face up water monster your opponent controls, take control of that target while the card is face up on the field. Parasitic Tiki, the attack and defense of this card are each equal to the number of tokens on the field times 500. Morale bar boost, each time a player equips an equip skill, um, equip spell card, increase the life points of the controller of the equip spell card by 1000 points. Each time an equip spell card is removed from the field, the controller of that equip spell card takes 1000 points of damage. And Skull Redbird. This monster swoops down and attacks with a rain of knives stored in its wings. During your turn, target two spell cards in your graveyard. Shuffle those targets into the deck. Uh, return two monster cards on your opponent's side of the field and one monster card on your side of the field to the owner's hands. And flip while this card is face up on the field. Take control of one earth monster your opponent controls. Okay. Blazing Heater. Again. Morale boost again, and Cursing of Aging. Discard one card from your hand, decrease the attack and defense of all monsters on your opponent's side of the field by 500 points. Till the end of the turn, this card is activated. Nice! That's a lot of cool cards. Let's get 10 more. I don't really see a point for gems, except for packs, so I'm going to be using it all. Tornado, activate only when there are three or more cards in your opponent's spell or trap card zone. Destroy, um, spell and trap card zone. Destroy one card in your opponent's spell and trap card zone. Ascending Soul, once per turn, when a ritual monster is ritual summoned, you can target one monster in your graveyard that was tributed for the ritual summon. Add that target to your hand. Flip, destroy all level four monsters your opponent controls. Storming Wind, Element Magician. Monster gets the following effects while there is monster with the following effect attribute on the on the field. Water control of this card cannot be switched, and wind if this card destroyed your opponent's battle. A monster by battle, you can attack once again in a row. Skelengul. Draw one card if it's flipped. Snake Fang. Decrease one selector monster's defense by 500 points during the turn this card is activated. Nutrient Z. This card only can be only be activated during the opponent's damage step. During this turn, if you take battle damage for 2,000 points or more, increase your life points by 4,000 points before the damage is subtracted from your life points. Um, Bickery Box, Cross Clown plus Dream Clown. Fortress Whale Earth, Conscription. Excavate the top card of your opponent's deck, and if it's a monster, then it can be normal summon slash set. Special summon it to your side of the field, otherwise that add that card to your opponent's hand. And Karate Man, you can double the original attack of this card once per turn. If you use this effect, destroy this card during the end battle phase. End phase, I mean, sorry. 
Ritual Cage, you can take no battle damage for attacks involving a Ritual Monster you control. Ritual Monsters you control cannot be targeted by or destroyed by monster effects. King of Yamakai and Earthquake. Change all face-up monsters on the field to defense position. Bam. Guardian Bow, Blazing Heater, and Hain Hain. Flip, select one monster on the field and return it to its owner's hands. Oh, ultra rare, nice. Rod of the Mind's Eye, if a monster equipped with this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, the damage becomes a thousand points. Uh, Avalanching Oza, and Skull Redbird. Fortress Whale, this monster can only be ritualed with the ritual spell Fortress Whale's Earth. Element Soldier, and the monster gets the following effects while there is a monster with the following attribute on the field. Water control of this card cannot be switched, and Earth negate the effect of an effect monster that this card destroyed by battle. Fulfillment of the contract. Pay 800 life points, select one ritual monster from your graveyard. Special summon an equipper with this card. When this card is destroyed, remove the equipped monster from play. Okay. Snake Thing, Tornado, Ask of the Spell. Select one face up spell card on the field. The controller of the spell card takes 500 points of damage during each of your standby phases. When the selected card is removed from the field, destroy this card. And last one. Turtle Oath. This card is reduced to the Ritual Summon Crab Turtle. You must also offer monsters whose total level stars equal 8 or more as a tribute from the field. Wasn't Crab Turtle used a few... No, that was Cross thing. Sorry. Enchanted Javelin. Increase your life points by the attack of one attacking monster. And Twin Swords of Flashing Light Trice. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Equip this card to a monster. It loses 500 attack, but it can make a second attack during each battle phase. Oh, that would be badass for Blue Eyes White Dragon. Nice. Okay, more. <clears throat> Faith Bird, Heater, Violent Arm. This card is normal summon, target one equipped spell card in the graveyard, banish that target. If you do, add it to your hand during your next standby phase. Blade Fly, as long as this card remains face up on the field, increase the attack of all wind monsters by 500 points. And decrease the attack of all Earth monsters by 400. For Lalu, Fortress and Karate Man. Fortress Whale's Earth, King of Yamakai, and Oz of the Earth Chamber. Paristic Tiki, Great Mammoth of the Gold Fine, the Snake Hair plus Dragon Zombie. And Twister, I'll pay 500 life points, I think that was destroy one spell or something. <laughs> Novox's Prayer, this huge card is used to ritual summon Skull Guardian. You must also offer monsters whose total level stars equals 7 or more as tribute from your field of hand. Bite Shoes, flip, change the attack of all, of de or defense position of one face-up monster on the field. This card must remain face-up. Book of Sacred Arts, a spellcaster type monster equipped with this card increases its attack and defense by 300 points. Turtle Oath, card rotator, send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Change the battle position of all monsters your opponent controls. Face down, defense position monsters are flipped to face-up attack position. Okay. And win the Wind Chamber, Charmer. While this card is face up on the field, take control of one Wind Monster your opponent controls. I'm getting a lot of those cards. Parasitic Tiki, Shadow Ghoul. The card gains 100 attack for each monster in your graveyard. Crimson Sunbird, Faith Bird plus Skull Red Bird. I have both of those. Griffin's Feather does the destroy off. Okay, I've already got that. Nutrient Z, already got that. Area of the Water Chamber. Charmer, I mean. I keep on saying Chamber. Dark Cat with White Tail, King of Yamakai, and Crimson Sunbird. And last one for this one, Fortress Whale's Earth, Great Mammoth, and Staunch Defender. You can only activate this card when your opponent declares an attack. Select one face-up monster on your side of the field. During this turn, your opponent can only designate the selected monster as an attack target, and your opponent must attack the selected monster with all face-up monsters. Nice. <coughs> Let's do more! I'm a glass of courage. Um, I didn't actually read that. Whoops. <laughs> Road of the Mind's Eye. If a monster... Yeah, okay. Skull Angle. Four Cease Fire. Discard one card from your hand. No trap cards can be activated until the end of the turn. Avalanche Noza. Mask of Dispel. Tornado. King of Yama Makai. Crap Turtle. This ritual monster can only be ritual summoned with the ritual spell card Turtle Oath. You must also offer monsters whose total level stars equal 8 or more as a tribute from the field of hand. Okay, so I can get that into my deck now since that's a ritual summon. 
Extra spell cards, Karate Man, and Dark the Dark Chamber. Flip, take control of one target dark monster your opponent controls, while this card remains face up on the field. Secret Pass of the Treasures. Select one face up monster with an attack equal to 1000 points or less on your side of the field. During this turn, the turn this card is activated, select a monster that can attack your opponent's life points directly. Okay. Insect Soldiers of the Sky. The attack of this card increases by 1000 points whenever it attacks a wind monster. Is it, like, does it get rid, does it get rid of the 1000 at the end of the turn? I'm assuming it doesn't. Um, okay. Element Doom. This monster gets the following effects while there is a monster with the following attribute on the field. Earth, negate the effect of an earth effect monster that, when this, that this card destroyed by battle. Wind, if this card is destroyed, um, if this card destroyed your opponent's monster by battle, it can attack once again in a row. Malice Ascendant, once per turn during your opponent's standby phases, send one card from the top of your deck, their deck to the graveyard for each Malice Ascendant in your graveyard. This card must be face up on the field to activate and to resolve this effect. And Judgment of Anubis. When your opponent activates a spell card that will destroy a spell trap card on the field, discard one card. Negate the activation, if you do destroy it, then the, you can destroy one face up monster your opponent controls. And if you do that, inflict damage to your opponents equal to the destroyed monster's attack on the field. So, okay. So they activate a spell card, you can just destroy it. Uh, no, if it destroys one, you can discard one card, negate the activation, and then destroy one face up monster your opponent controls, and then inflict damage equal to the attack of that monster. Nice. Sorry, it was just a long one I had to... Yeah. Griffin's Feather Duster, Skelengul, and Line of the Light Charm. I think I've got all of them now. Take control of light mon one light monster your opponent controls while this card is face up on the field. Blade Fly, Enchanted Javelin. Autonomous Action Unit. Pay 1,500 life points and target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Special summon that target to your side of the field in a face up attack position. And equip it with this card. When this card leaves the field, destroy the equipped monster. Nice. Secret Pass of the Treasures, Shadow Ghoul, and ready for intercepting. Target one warrior or spell cast the type monster on the field. Change that target to face down defense position. Blade Fly, Skull Guardian, win the wind chamber. Very nice. Two more. Element Doom, Shadow Ghoul, Mask of Dispel. Raging Area, Meteor Rain. During this turn, when your monster attacks with an attack that is higher than the defense of your opponent's defense position monster, inflict the difference's battle damage to your opponent's life points. Dragon Zombie. Snake Hair, Contract with Aqua Mirror. If you control a face up water monster, activate one of these effects. If you control a face up water, water Minch Witch Roll monster, you can activate both of these effects. Look at all set cards in your opponent's spell and trap card zones, and look at the top cards of either player's deck and return them to the top in deck of any order. I think I'd rather do the first one, honestly. Cross Clown! When this card is changed from defense position to attack position, turn one monster in your opponent's side of the field to the owner's hand. Okay. Snake Fang, Fortress Whale, Reinforcements! Target one face-up monster against... Uh, gain, target one face-up monster it gains 500 attack until the end phase. It's hyper though. Blade Fly, Skull Guardian, and Heater, the Fire Charmer. Parastic Tiki, Element Doom, Judgment. Griffin's Feather Duster, Skull Guardian, Heater, the Fire Charmer. Ritual Cage, Blazing Heater, Twin Swords, of Flashing Light, Trice. Restriction, Revolution, Element Soldier, Judgment of Anubis. Parasitic Tiki, Hidden Spellbook, Skull Redbird. Okay. And last one. Skull Guardian, Hidden Spellbook, Maka Maka! This card gains 300 attack and defense for each card in your hand. I love this card. It used to be my favorite card in, um, in Nightmare Trapador. <laughs> Force Ceasefire, Hourglass of Courage, and Cat's Ear Tribe. Sending Soul, Restriction, Revolution, Win the Wind Chamber, Charmer. Insect Soldiers of the Sky, Hidden Spellbook, Book of Secret Arts, Tornado, Morale Booster, Cat's Air Tribe. 
Samsara. Monster cards tributed for Trift Draw Summon are returned to the owner's deck instead of being sent to the graveyard. Avalanche and Ozai, Magical Arm Shield. When your opponent declares an attack while you control a monster, target one face out monster your opponent controls, except the attacking monster. Take control of that target until the end of the battle phase, and if you do, it is attacked instead, and you proceed to damage calculation. Okay. Secret Pass of the Treasures, Attraction Revolution, and Fulfillment of the Contract. Conscription, Element Soldier, and Magical Hats. During your opponent's battle phase, choose two spell trap cards from your deck on one monster you control. Special summon them as mon normal monsters, attack 0, defend 0, in face down defense position. So set the chosen monsters that is face up. Um, if it is face up, and shuffle them in your deck, on your on the field. Uh, two cards chosen from your deck are destroyed at the end of the battle phase, and it cannot remain on the field except during the battle phase. Okay. Novox's Prayer. This card is used to ritual summon Skull Guardian. You must also offer a monster whose total level stars equals 7 or more as tribute from the field of hand. Meteor Rain, Dream Clown. Oh. When this card is changed from attack position to defense position, destroy one monster on your opponent's side of the field. <laughs> Fortress Whale, Great Mammoth, Fulfill one of the Contract. There we go. We just got an additional 180 cards, I think it was. Let's go to our deck editor. So I'm not going to make you wait through me making a deck. I'm going to just jump cut this. So I will be right back. Um, tag on the, tap on the deck you want to edit and select Edit Deck in order to edit the deck of your choice. Selecting Set Deck will set that as your active... Uh, deck for use in duels, okay. So this one's my active one. I want to keep his, um, his default deck. Like, oh, okay, he only has four spells, holy crap, no wonder it's a little bad. Um, I'm just going to use the spare deck right here to make a new one. So, yeah, I'm just going to go through his cards.